Hello everybody, Easy here. In mid-October, a port for the Ocarina of Time decompilation project known as Ship of Harkinian was brought to Android devices. With compatibility ranging from as low as theoretically Android 4.3, almost all Android devices are able to play the recompiled port of the hit 90s classic. The installation process is simple, and I won't waste much more time on the intro. Because the project is very new at the time of me writing, the installation process may change and I will leave a link to any updates in the description and pinned comments. You are also required to have a copy of Ship of Harkinian running on another platform to generate the .otr files required for the app. A basic Windows installation will be covered in this video, however the port supports a wide range of platforms. It is also worth noting that Android is a platform not yet officially supported by Ship of Harkinian, so please refrain from asking questions for help with Ship of Harkinian Android and the official Ship of Harkinian spaces. Without any more waiting, let's get started. To begin, the only prerequisite file you will need is a compatible copy of the Zelda Ocarina of Time ROM. You can double check compatibility with your copy by visiting the link in the description below. Once you have obtained a copy of the ROM, return to the main Ship of Harkinian GitHub repository. From here, we will scroll down on the overview page until we see options for other systems. Make sure you are grabbing the latest nightly and not the public release. If you receive a warning about downloading a suspicious file type, ignore the warning and continue downloading slash keep the file. It is important to note you cannot use older installs of SOH, and you must use up-to-date Nightly's compatible with the Android port. Editing Zoe here, extract the archive with 7-zip or WinRAR. Place your Zelda OOT ROM inside the whole folder, then run SOH.exe. You will receive some pop-ups asking about the ROM itself and instructing you. You're going to want to click yes to using this ROM, and you will then see a terminal appear and run a process. Once you have successfully extracted your ROM, click No when prompted to extract another ROM. You should now see this installation begin to play. You are now ready to begin copying required files to your phone. Go ahead and select the download for your specific Android version. If you are on Android 13 or higher, select the scoped storage file option named soh.storage.apk. For all other versions on Android 12 or below, select soh.apk. Once you have the APK downloaded, we're going to want to place this in a safe directory on our device. We will then go over to our device and install the .apk we have just copied. If you are on Android 13, you will be asked about file storage permissions. Allow this app access to your storage. You can generate a folder of the app by starting and running the port. After the initial boot up, navigate to the Android Data Com Dishi SOH Files folder and drop in your newly generated OOT OTR and SOH OTR. Once this is all set, you are ready to run the app you can close any file browsers and run the installed application. If all has gone correctly, you will see the ship appear in place of the N64's boot animation, and the project will begin running. Enjoy your game! One final thing to note, 
This app is limited to controllers only at the moment, and there is a bug with the SDL causing controller connections to only register on game startup. Meaning if your controller disconnects, you will not be able to reconnect it as the app runs, and it requires you to restart the app. Once this is all done, we are able to play Zelda OOT nearly anywhere and natively, all on Android devices. If you enjoyed this video, maybe consider leaving a like or sharing the process with others. Be sure to check out more guides like this on my channel, and consider subscribing if you have not already. Thank you all for watching, and enjoy saving Hyrule on the go.